Welcome back. After my review of the ES-121, this uh, nice smart screwdriver, it got me thinking, what other screwdrivers are, are out there for the hobbyists that utilize this 4mm hex bit? Well, I found this guy. This is the Xiaomi WowStick 1P+. Plus. And this comes in at about $20 as opposed to almost $100 for this guy. Let's see how they stack up together. Okay, this is the Xiaomi WowStick 1P Plus. Uh, I got this off of the usual suspect, you know, Banggood. Uh, it comes in at a reasonable $20. Uh, it's supposed to come with a screwdriver, a pouch, and 18 bits. And uh, this runs off of two AAA batteries as opposed to having an internal rechargeable battery. So let's uh, get out of the box and take a look at it. the box and inside the box there are three other boxes this one is the accessory so it's all the bits this is the actual screwdriver and then this is the tool bag let's take a look at the, the bag that it comes with Oh, it's kind of a nice little felt sock with uh, it's got two chambers in it. This one for the screwdriver, one for your bits. Put that aside. Take a look at the bits. Oh, that's kind of a nice little setup. It's uh, three individual little tubes with all the little four millimeter hex bits. All right and the actual screwdriver itself. There it is, the wow stick. Precision screwdriver, dual power. Uh, by dual power they mean you can use the motor to drive the screws in and out and you can also turn it manually. The end kind of locks up when you're not running the motor. Uh, it's extremely light. It's long. It has no has no grip to it, but it's kind of got a bit of a satin feel. And uh, just to compare it to the ES-121, let's take that bit out of there. Get the idea as far as the length goes. It's uh, significantly longer. Uh, it's about the same diameter. This guy is a lot heavier. Uh, I don't have any batteries in this, so let's go ahead and load it up. Yeah, still a lot lighter than the ES-121. Not too bad. Seems like it's... Uh, Got a decent rotational speed. Let's see. Yeah, good magnet, magnetic re, uh, retention of the bit. It's definitely not going to fall out on its own at all. And it's just a, it's just a two-button deal. Run them out, run them in. There's no accelerometer like in the ES-121. Now the manufacturer says that uh, it's got a 150 RPM rotation and its working torque is about 3 newton meters. So it's not a ton of torque, but the idea is 
uh, bring something in here to show you. The idea is to loosen the screw and then back it out using the, the little piano key. Same thing with driving something in. And then once you bottom out, you can just give a little eh, and finish torquing it down all the way. So all in all, not bad. Um, this little pouch, let's see. Well, nope, screwdriver fits in there even with a bit installed. And the bits actually fit in there too. Oh boy, what a mess. So all in all, I think this is an extremely good deal. If you're looking for some sort of elect electric screwdriver, uh, if anything, just to speed up the time of disassembling and assembling things, uh, especially light duty applications like cell phones, computers, uh, toys, RC stuff, uh, I highly recommend this. Now, do I recommend this over this? No, I don't. This is definitely a better screwdriver, but for the price, this is the way to go. This guy is very expensive compared to this, um, although this feels like it's going to last a very long time. It's really hefty, and I really like this guy. But for the money, you cannot go wrong with this. It's 20 bucks. Pick one up. Even if you use it a few times, it's going to be worth it. You're it's going to save you enough time that it's that it's worth it. All right, well, that's all I got for today. If you like what I'm doing here, uh, thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, all those things. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.